surprising, Paula, what happened, sure. and then we see some, you know, Boston police officers, et cetera, uh, racing in there and then keeping people from going back. And Bobby, as we come up here on about 20 minutes after 3 o'clock, you know people over the last few minutes have been hearing that something mm -hmm. happened and might be just tuning in to join us. So we do want to just bring you up to speed. What you're looking at is video from earlier, about 20, 25 minutes ago, at the scene of the finish line of the Boston Marathon. All of our producers and WBZ staff on the scene reporting to us two consecutive explosions, one right after the other, one, as you can see here, with the gray smoke on the side, uh, one near the Marathon Sports Store on Boylston Street, and then one a little bit further down. There it is there, at the top yeah, of your screen. you can see it clearly here. Yeah. And that's More the one toward that, Mass Ave. That's the one Ken mentioned, yeah, uh, sure. farther down. Um, and you see the one here uh, that appears to be over there on the side, you can see in the marathon officials and the police are going to go up and, and kind of start clearing those barriers. Again, that's that moment, Paula, when you're trying to figure out, okay, what just happened? Well, this, this was not supposed to happen. And, uh, you know, it does look like a lot of other scenes that we have seen, unfortunately, in other cities. Uh, right now, we are efforting, uh, trying to get live cameras there at the scene. Our Lisa Hughes is there, of course, Jonathan Elias and our other reporters who were along the route and at the finish line, uh, ready to report <laughs> the happy outcome of the Boston Marathon on such a beautiful day. Right now, they're trying to uh, make sure they gather as much information as possible and then get right in front of a camera. But as we go back to live sky eye video of the scene, uh, you can see emergency personnel, police, fire, uh, trying to make sure the scene is secured and getting the injured uh, where they need to be. Yeah, Paula, as soon as I ran out here, I'd just come into the building when this happened. Jim Armstrong, uh, one of our colleagues, he headed down to the area and, and was able to make it there. Um, he just talked to an eyewitness who says that it was an absolute ball of fire and looked like it came from inside the building. That was what an eyewitness told him as far as the, the blast that was related to Marathon sports. Right.